So where is all my stuff? Throw that over there. You just couldn't wait, could you? You already had to get here before I was ready. Give me a couple seconds. Jeez, you guys. You knew what was coming and you couldn't wait, could you? It's like, oh, let's get there before Mark's ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get all my stuff all situated first. I got a bunch of boxes and some packages. Almost ready. Jeez. All right, this will go here. Right. Hey, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade, and today is pinball parts or not. So, it's the twenty-sixth of December, twenty twenty-one. So happy. Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Festivus, um, nothing, whatever floats your boat, you get two thumbs up on it. So, Merry Christmas. We got um, one, two, three, four, five boxes. Five boxes open for you guys. Um... Good Christmas this year. Decent. Um, we, we didn't do the present thing. Uh, we just got the presents for the kids, and that's all the kids needed. We didn't really need anything, so no cool pinball stuff for me. But I just wanted the kids to have as much as they could, so let them get what they wanted. Uh, let's just cut right to it. Pinball parts or not, I can't let you see a lot of this because it's kind of in see-through bubble wrap. What could this be? Don't know. It was interesting how they packaged this, put it this way. Very interesting how it's been packaged. I have seen stuff shipped really crazy. This does make sense to me, how they shift it. You know, just do what you can to save on packaging. And wrapping up in bubble wrap, especially what I got here, it will do the job just fine if I can get it out. Yeah. Anybody guessing what it is? Which one of you guys said windshield wiper blade? You just take the fun out of everything, don't you? Bush icon winter wiper blade. Well, it's not really winter wiper blade. It's all weather wiper blade from Rock Auto. I buy a lot of stuff from Rock Auto for car part wise. It's great if you um, are pre-ordering and you know what you need. So we got a Bosch Icon 20A wiper blade. What I like about these, I live in Wisconsin. This is an all one sealed blade. You can't get any snow or any crap in there. So it's great for Wisconsin winters. Otherwise, if you have the ones blades that are open, they um, tend to get snow and junk piled in between them and then you just got a shitty wipe on your window and what's this one it's got the smiley face on it is it pinball parts or not or pinball related or just totally not related at all Which one of you guys said wiper blade again? You guys are getting good. 
this is the other side, my car, yes, 26A. My car has two different size wiper blades on it. So one's for the left wiper, one's for the right wiper. Like I said, these Bosch icons are great for all weather, especially winter. Let's get into some pinball parts. Or not. What do we got in this one? Can't be wiper blades again. I already got two of them. Let's see what we got, Mark. We're at five minutes. I'm going really quick on this one, ain't I? Anybody guess? Anybody got a guess? What this could be? Actually, I got these like a week or two ago. All these packages. Except for this one. That's the only one I didn't get a week or two ago. I actually got it early this week. Who said wiper blade? Did you say wiper blade? We got another wiper blade. I promise this is it for wiper blades. This is a Vallejo wiper blade. This is for the back of my car. Mine was just cruddy. I usually replace my blades every year. My rear one is just really bad, so I promise that's that for wiper blades. We don't need any more wiper blades. This one, pinball parts are not. Hmm. Don't know on this one. I remember what it is, but I kind of thought it had been packaged a little different. Well, that's what happens when you order off eBay. Us. You may know what this is. This is a light that blinks. This is called a fake car alarm. I wanted a blinky light um, for my one of my cars that blinks when the power is off. So it's too cold for me to put the, well, finish the alarm. Maybe if it gets warm, I will finish it real quick. But this is just a quick wire in and it's done. This is weird. I don't get how it's going to work. It says red wire connect to any fuse that has constant power, which I can understand. And it says black wire connects to any fuse that is only powered when the key is on. It is weird. How is it going to blink? You know what I'm saying? You would think it would be grounded. Oh, but it's got some type of diode on it. So maybe it back feeds. I don't know if it's a diode or transistor. <sighs> I 
I don't get how you put two positives to it and it's gonna... I don't get how that would work. If anybody can understand that, it's got some type of resistor on it. Uh-oh. I unplugged the power from the camera. You don't want to do that. Because this battery is not that good on the camera. I want to keep it plugged in. It says we got a good battery, but... Alright. See how it's got something right there? But the instructions clearly say... Right here where my finger is, red wire connect to any fuse that has constant power. Black wire connects to any fuse that is only powered when the key is on. I wire a lot of stuff in the cars, but I don't understand um, getting dual volt voltage. How would that make it work? That is weird. Do any of you guys understand that? Drop something in the comments. But it is an eBay thing, so... I don't get how that's going to do with the job. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Pinball, parts, or not. We're done with this computer. So this can be our little table. It's a normal box. What could it be? It comes from um, Huntley, Illinois, if that helps anybody. If anybody knows what's in Huntley, Illinois, might know what's in this box. We're at 12 minutes. What is that? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Look at that. This one's got a bunch in it. Oh yeah, these are slightly different colored. These are like Uber discount because they're slightly different colored. These are for electrical systems with the wiper blades making the squirters work. No, these are all um, pinball rubber. This is basically every rubber size you can get. These are all the rubber sizes. All of them. And then these were super discounted. Because they were the odd colored, they're more, you can kind of, you can see in the picture. There you go. You can see how these are a little grayer than these. These are mostly white and these were gray. Since they were off color, these are cheaper. I figured these would work in um, areas that are more by themselves that aren't next to these, so you wouldn't notice, or way up in the back in a 
back part of machines. I figured they'd be really good. So I got all the little, all the sizes from the smallest all the way up to the biggest that's still available, four inch. So yeah, we are set for pinball rubber. I was getting tired of um, buying kits. And I'm like, you know what? Let's invest a little bit of money into doing our own kits. You know, keep track of what I'm using. I got an ingenious way of keeping track. I will show you. I'm really anxious about that alarm light though. I eat ham, a lot of ham. If you know me personally, uh, my lunch consists of um, two ham sandwiches and two fruit cups or two yogurts or two apple sauces or something like that every day for umpteen years, if you know me. My ham comes in these containers. So... We were throwing them out, and then I saved some for some things. And now I need to save the rest. So all these, I will put the rubbers in here, and then I will label them what they are. And then I can put them in a box, in a big um, tote. And then as I use them, I can start to see that they're getting lower. And I can just put an order in for some more. So that was um I gotta tell you when the wife's wife can't hear. It was close to two hundred dollars in pinball rubber. Yeah, so um yeah. So she's right upstairs over there. I didn't want to say it loud. So, yeah, that's, um, I think, um, yeah, just, just a little bit under with the shipping and everything. So, I figured that's a lot of kits, a lot of machines. I can put them on, and then that investment actually goes, you know, a long way, where it's cheaper for me to keep restocking then uh, keep buying kits. Kits are, are cheap. Don't get me wrong, they're cheap on that, especially if you're buying, you know, a thousand or two thousand of the same rubbers at a time. You can get them for pennies on a dollar, but yeah, they're selling them cheap, so I wonder what they are making off these kits. So this way, and then every now and then, yeah, you get a kit, and then their thing is off a little bit or your machine's been altered a little bit where um, they didn't have the right post like the post broke or something like that so they put a different post on I'm talking like about the metal little post or anything or um, let's say a hole was hollowed out in a pinball machine and they moved a the post over so now it uses a smaller uh, rubber instead of the factory ones or I've actually had machines where they didn't go in a regular rubber route that the originals did and it totally threw me off because I laid all these rubbers out and my original machine actually used more or less and it was like blowing my mind trying I was like the hell this doesn't make any sense so, I figure you can get go on the internet and get most um, diagrams of the machines, how the rubber lays out, or you can be like me and take a billion pictures and you can kind of guesstimate. If you put this rubber on and it's too loose, you put the next size down, and if that's just snug and then you put the next size down and it's way too tight, you already know that the first one was wrong, the last one was wrong, but the middle one was perfect.
and then a lot of them will say the size on them so from now on when I take them off machines I will um I will make a video and then I will go and say two and a half one inch one and three quarters blah 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 so that way when I redo them it will help me out otherwise yeah I'm really trying to figure that one out how that works it just it is really confusing to me like that are they thinking that the fuse is it's going to back feed red wire connecting yes i understand that Black wire. It's got to be a diode. That's what I'm guessing. It's a diode. It's got to be a diode that's on there. Or a resistor? I don't know, I should cut it off and look at it. Yeah, it's a resistor, or what is it, transistor? That's what it is. It's the little brown things with um, color stripes on it. Where's my thing about that? There it goes. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh. The colors are... It's hard to see. Gold, brown, purple, and yellow, it looks like. See? That's what it is. So maybe back feeds and use it as, as a ground or something. I don't know. I My understanding of electrical knowledge is pretty thin, but I'm, I'm guessing it with this resistor, it's using the power as a ground and uh, the red obviously is power to, to make it work, but for some reason it's using the, the negative half as somehow with a ground with that resistor or transistor that's in it. It's using that somehow as a ground, which I don't understand how it can. As we're, I don't get it. Weird. 
Anyways, that's it for pinball parts or not. You can go now. You're already or here way earlier than I wanted you to. So, yeah, you can go. But, but yeah, there's going to be some cool stuff here on the bottom. But, yeah, if you can tell me how hooking the red wire up to power that is constant on, which I totally get. But then using hooking the black up to power that is not on, how that would make that work. Because you would need like a ground. You know what I mean? And it's supposed to blink. So, yeah, I can open it up. I ain't got time right now. But yeah, it's supposed to blink. If you can, if you understand that, comment and do it in easy terms so I can get it. Yeah, I, I understand stuff, but it's for me to think of a power as working as a ground to illuminate that is really messing with my mind. So yeah, stuff here on the bottom. That's about it. Take care and. You didn't subscribe, did you? Or did you? If you haven't subscribed, go do that. Later. Hit the button, the right one.